I'll, I'll go through some math because I know there's some, some math geeks here for sure that are, are dying to get into the tax stuff. So let's go through some calculations. Let's assume that there's a 44% marginal tax rate. Let's assume that the interest cost is 2.95%, which by the way, I should mention a lot of lenders, not all of them, but a lot of lenders do allow for uh, you to lock in portions of your line of credit into mortgages. And typically a mortgage rate will be lower than a line of credit rate. And so if you're looking at doing something like this and you're looking at borrowing the money for an extended period of time, like if you're borrowing money for a down payment for an investment property, we typically will recommend that you don't keep it on a line of credit, which is a higher interest rate. You actually lock it in or convert it into a closed fixed term or closed variable term, and that will get you a much better rate. But for the purposes of, of this, um, this situation here, I'm going to assume that you're borrowing all of the money on a line of credit, which is interest only. So 2.95% interest on $400,000, that's $11,800. Now, if you're at a 44% tax rate, you're now writing off $11,800 on your tax return. So if you're writing off $11,800, you're saving $5,192 per year in taxes. Now, over time, of course, you have to remember that in the very beginning, you're slowly ratcheting this amount up. And so you're not going to save $5,200 right from the beginning. But over time, as you slowly convert it, you're going to be building up your tax deductibility and the amount of, of interest that you're able to write off. And this will slowly increase. Um, there's a lot of different, uh, different unique things that, uh, that we can talk about, about how you can save a lot of money immediately just with very, very small, um, small switches. I'll talk about what some of our clients are actually doing. 